Good, happy Sunday evening. I'm Riley King, and welcome to the Riley King Newscast. Let's get started. First up, Linenboro pays respect to a firefighter, Derek Lanzeski. Hundreds gathered in the rain Saturday to pay their respect at to a Lennon Borough volunteer firefighter who lost his life. Third, Sununu supporter flips to Gatsis as mayor releases campaign finance committee. Republican candidate for governor Ted Gastis has released a 46 member campaign finance committee that contains the name of a third person within a week who has flipped to support his campaign from a campaign of GOP competitor Chris Sununu. Teenage girl rescued from capsized kayak on Lake Winnipesaukee. A kayaker who was rescued from Lake Winnipesaukee after her boat capsized Sunday morning. Driver killed in Candia car accident. A motor vehicle crash in Candia left the driver dead, according to state police. Police firefighters raise money for kids at Battle of the Badges. Firefighters and police officers squad off in the annual Children's Hospital at Dartmouth Hitchcock Battle of the Badges Saturday night in Manchester. As light snow tapers off, wind gusts up to 45 miles per hour are possible. Many areas in the state saw under an inch of snow Sunday morning as it tapers off. Granite staters will have to contain with strong gust winds. Goffstown official respond to CO scare. Fire officials are responding to a carbon monoxide incident in Goffstown. Two suspects facing several charges after SWAT standoff in Keene. A SWAT situation in Keene resulted to arrest Saturday afternoon. Man wanted in bank robbery, carjackings, arrested in Hancock. Good Samaritans help ta take down a wanted man in a small town, New Hampshire. Bobcat proposal goes back to the drawing board. Whether there will be a controversial bobcat hunting and trapping season in New Hampshire is still up in the air. Arrest made in connection with devices found on power lines, FBI says. Authorities arrested a man in connection to the suspicious devices found on power lines in Tinsingboro. State Police Trooper Assaulted on UNH Campus Hampstead Man has been arrested after assaulting a state trooper on Friday night, according to reports. Pembroke Parents Angry After High School Dean is Arrested on Drug Charges Pembroke Academy Parents are angry after they just finding out their high school's dean of students was arrested on drug charges last month.
chaos in North Dakota as Trump crews scrap for delegates. Mayhem broke out on the convention floor in North Dakota moments before the state's GOP activists were set to vote on the cruel 25 delegates the state will send to the National Convention in Cleveland. Two dead in Amtrak crash near Philadelphia. Two people were killed when an Amtrak train permanently derailed near Philadelphia today, officials said. Amtrak said train 89 traveling from New York to Savannah to Georgia partially derailed after striking a backhoe that was on the tracks. The identities of the two victims were not immediately clear. And that does it for the Riley King newscast right here on the Riley King Network. I hope you all have a great rest of your Sunday night. Good night, everyone. Bye.